hello viewers thanks for watching we're gonna create a brand new course for web design in this course there will be beginner intermediate and advanced sections so for now it is only for beginners so when we complete all the topics of beginners then we're gonna start the topics for intermediate and at the end we're gonna discuss about advanced um, web design for this beginner we will discuss the beginner topics of html5 and css3 and some beginner topics about javascript as well so for this course we need a web browser and a text editor uh, as a web browser i'm gonna use google chrome and a text editor uh, i'm gonna use visual studio code mm, you can use any web browser or any text editor but i'm gonna use vs code because vs code is very popular and the popularity is increasing day by day and functionality is very good and easy to use go to the website called code.visualstudio.com slash download when you browse it the page will come like that if you have windows click on there if you have mac click on the other side and uh, complete all of the steps at the end vs code will be in your pc so when the download complete vs code icon will show like this on your pc so open it by double click welcome page will be like that let's see on the left side these are the important icons i want to use this folder this folder is in my desktop how i gonna use that uh, you can click on open folder or click on the file there is an option for open folder click on that from desktop select desktop select web design this folder your web design folder is showing under the explorer on this button it says new file and on the other button it says new folder i need a new file click on that file name i'm gonna put index.html then enter type exclamatory sign and enter how i you gonna use the exclamatory it is on the corner of number one so click shift and number one it is showing the exclamatory just enter or tab it will give you the skeleton of html the type is doc type everything will be inside the opening html and closing html tag this is the opening html there is the closing html tag and after that head then body if you want you can use footer as well under body so what will be included inside the html all links or source or all other documents will be inside the head also the title this title will show on top of the address bar whatever shows in the website it will be inside the body tag so let's see the website but before that we need some extensions what we need uh, click on that it will show you all the extensions just type live server click on that i already have installed this so you can just click install and it will install the in your vs code then you need pretty r and r a w t i a r so this one click on that i already have it in my vs code just uh, click install and you install then you need auto save so if click on the auto save it will save automatically how are you gonna go back to the explorer just click on this icon it will take you to the work file click on index.html so now when you install the live server um, you'll see go live at the bottom just click on that click on this button 
happiness in your life is opus 5501 code so um check the web page you see there is nothing in the web page just this is the address bar on top of the address bar it says document this is the title let's see let's change the uh, title name my web page okay let's check it again see the title changed my web page so whatever write on the in between the title text it will show here actually what does it mean by html html means hypertext markup language is use the markup language and html is responsible for the web page structure whatever you write in Set this body tag it will show you on the website if you want to show your text very big you can use heading h1 if you want to show very small you can use heading a6 so how many types of heading elements there are six types it start from a1 and ends with the a6 let's make it clear so just type s1 enter copy it and then heading s2 s2 okay and then control s save it and visit the web page you see in the web page heading elements are uh, ace one heading element showing the big size and then ace two showing a little bit smaller a six is the smallest one so size depends on the heading text looks like that after that how to write paragraph you need to write paragraph inside the body tag as well um your text need to be inside p tag so type p enter let me write some dummy text lorem l o r e m uh, 30 enter is giving me dummy 30 words of lorem ipsum text control s you see this is the paragraph if you want to make a line break after this uh, full stop you can make it if you want to add a line break just self closing br tag starting angle bracket br forward slash closing angle break control s let's visit the web page and say line break if you want to upload any image on the web page how you can do it image need to write in between img tag img tag is self closing tag you just write img and enter it will give you the other options other necessary things type your source in between this inverted if you have any image in your desktop or in your work file you can use it just write down the address write do d after you writing just do it will show you the option of the image there is only one available image that is dummy dot jpeg and alternate alt alt what does it mean this alt alt you can type you can write something that will indicate the image like if your website is not working properly maybe you you cannot see the image but you can see the name that is the alternative option maybe just write down dummy let's visit the web page see the image showing there if you want to make it bigger or smaller you can you can pull the height and width uh, height aci maybe 40 pixel px and wid 40 pixel previously it was showing a little bit bigger that was the default size now i specify the height and width that's why it's smaller also if you don't have the image in the working file or in your desktop and you want to show an image that is from a website you can use that as well how are you gonna use that okay after this we're gonna use an image from a website img insert so where is the source let's go to a web page as next web page and let's use this image right click copy image address 
click on that on the source put that address alternative is next and a extra pick here yeah, I see picture let's see how the picture showing in the web page the picture is not showing that's why it is showing the alternative name why it's not showing because I put the address after this inverted I need to put it in between let's check the web page it's very big picture so you have the control you can reshape the size okay how are you gonna reshape Wait and height height should be 200 pixel suppose with uh, 220 pixel control s you see and this picture was very big now we reshape it with the height 200 and width 220 we can reshape it for this welcome video let's finish it here and stay with me in our next video explain more thanks for watching and see you in the next video